Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage former U.S. Secretary of Housing and Urban Development, Dr. Ben Carson. Thank you. Thank you so much, and thank you all for being here and for being patriots. You know, this election is not about Democrats and Republicans. This election is about whether we are a secular nation or are we one nation under God. And you know, it was a long time ago but Benjamin Franklin, when he came out of that Constitution Hall after vigorous arguments over how our nation was going to be run, he was asked, Sir, what do we have here? A monarchy or a republic? And he said, a republic, if you can keep it. We've kept it for 240 years, but we're as close to losing it right now as we have ever been at any point in time. We have a Department of Justice that's being used by the party in power to persecute and prosecute their political opponents, something you would expect in Russia or China or Banana Republic occurring blatantly right in our country. And interestingly enough, we have somebody who's running for president who recently said in a crowd when somebody said, Jesus Christ is Lord, that you're in the wrong crowd. Think about that. Think ab you know, in Matthew 12, 34, it says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. She didn't have time to think about what she was going to say. She just said what's in her heart. So maybe she's the one who doesn't belong. Maybe that's what we should be thinking about. You know, the other thing that's very disheartening right now is you hear the term frequently, disinformation. That is laying the groundwork for censorship. And we should recognize all of these things that are coming down the road here and how they try to demonize President Trump. Why do they do that? Because they can't really criticize his policies because they know they work. So now they have to go and say that he's the worst thing since Hitler. And there's a lot more coming because they will do anything to stop him. They've tried everything so far. But here's the thing. As it says in Romans 8, if God be for you, who can be against you? And all of us at this time just have to have the courage to stand. President Trump has courage, but he needs us to be behind him and to think logically. And also, we all have to fight our personal battles. We have to win our war of 1812. What do I mean by that? Proverbs 1812. It says, before destruction, the heart of man is haughty. And before honor is humility. And we have to submit ourselves to the power of God. Our nation rose from a bunch of ragtag militiamen to the pinnacle of the world because we were people of faith. And there are those who are trying to get us to give that up. Recognize that in the last election, 20 million evangelical Christians did not vote. And most of the close elections in the swing states were determined by thousands of votes, not millions of votes. Think about the power that exists in the people who believe in God. We don't have to be victims. We don't have to complain. We can absolutely control the direction of our nation, but we have to get involved to do it and recognize that 
we have a responsibility. Now, I know there are a lot of Christians who say both sides are corrupt and I don't want to be involved in a corrupt system. I don't want to have to choose between the lesser of two evils. Well, unless Jesus Christ is on the ballot, you're always choosing between the lesser of two evils. And lastly, lastly, I just want to say, you know, when I was running for president against Donald J. Trump, at one of the debates when we were being announced, I couldn't hear my name. All the other candidates walked past me. He came and stood beside me until they rectified the situation. He stood beside me at a time of confusion and I guarantee you, he will stand beside you and the United States of America in this time. <laughs>